right, coming up next is the UFC Heavyweight Showdown. All right, here he is, the decorated kickboxer, back for more here tonight. And he's so comfortable in the striking realm. It's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading a right. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range to be getting knocked out. But he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the, com he loves the combat. He loves the engagement. But what you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponents on their terms. He's doing it on his terms. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker, one of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 260 pounds, fighting out of Temecula, California, Chico. And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. Sixteen. A lot of the UFC's best have gotten that opportunity. Absolutely, J.A. And when you grow up as a fighter, especially a heavyweight, it is your dream to headline MSG and fight for the heavyweight championship of the world. I got that honor, and I can almost feel the ghost of Muhammad Ali, Joe Frazier, all those great fights those guys had at MSG. I felt as if on that night that I retained my championship, I became part of that fraternity. The greatest heavyweight fighter to ever step foot in Madison Square Garden. It was an honor and a pleasure, and it felt amazing to join that fraternity. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Big, powerful punch lands. Now he gets back in range. Oh, he stunned him with that knee to the head. There's no give on that leg kick. Left hand punch in the clinch. 
liver kick. If you take those kicks, you're going to set your body up. Oh, man, how is he standing? Brutal knee to the body. Big elbow there. Good punch land. Ooh, what a head kick. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. And now he's got that tie clinch. Boy, tie clumps. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pull it down on your head, land punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside and try to find space. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Yeah, left hook found his target. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very accurate. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, man, his leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see as the opponent starts to slow down, he cannot take many of those kicks. He is all about that left kick to the body. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Big left hook coming. It's blocked. Oh, collar tie. Left hand punch from the clinch. Look at that great work to the body from the clinch. Oh, knee to the head. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Oh, single collar tie here. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Punch is blocked. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to him. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. All right, both fighters now continuing to try to get a more dominant position. Got the single collar tie. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Big kick lands. His opponent's got him in the clinch. He needs to break away and get back to his range because he's taking punch after punch from his clinch position. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these few. Oh, nice job to defend the takedown and scramble to his feet. Changes his stance. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Now. Oh, big knee to the body. How'd he get that one home? What a fight so far. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC. And uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding. And look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel. He's really trying to damage his opponent. And as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. You need to snap out of it. You're taking too much damage. You have to start defending yourself. Well, I'm going to stop the fight. you got to keep your hands up. All right, here we go. As our next round gets underway, his strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this he round. He doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Try to establish that jab. Single collar tie there. Nice punch, man. 
Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Body kick now by Liz. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. This dude's cash and chip. They continue to exchange. Single collar tie now. Nice punch lands over the top. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the field. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Goes back to that left kick once again. Beautiful leg kick thrown. Engaging in the clinch here once again. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Well, at this point, he's got to be way up on the judges' scorecards, clearly winning the fight, and largely has gotten it done with his striking team. Got it done with the strike. He fought well behind the jab. And the significant strikes that really did make his impact on the judge's mind. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. in the gym to set it up and ultimately get the tap there. Great technique to set up the finish. Right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. He's so skilled, he's so tricky, and he's so good at weaving a web that gets you lost in it that he made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory. So there he is, your winner by submission, and that's exactly how you put the rest of this division on notice. Looks like this guy could be a factor moving forward in this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine is going to stop for this contest at two minutes, 20 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by a tap out, Bruce the Dragon Lee! So what a performance by this young man here tonight as he gets the win by way of submission. He certainly put a lot of stock into getting the finish tonight, and he did just that. Congratulations. It was very tough fight, but he knew that if he did everything right, he can get to his position, which is the ground, and he would be able to find a finish by submission.